hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is the momalicious and i have something special for you yes today we are making ugandan pilau you can pause the video to see the ingredients so i'm gonna start off by putting some rice in this in this bowl okay that is the rice that i'm gonna be cooking with and i'm gonna be using this to make our ugandan pilau it's a special kind of pilau so i go ahead and pour the rice in the bowl that is one cup of rice there guys it depends on how much you want to cook and how many people you are cooking for So what I'm going to do with the rice is that I'm going to pour water in the rice so that I can soak it. I want the extra starch to get out of there because I want when my pilau is ready, I want to have each grain of rice. I want to fill each grain of rice as I eat, okay? So I'm going to soak that up in the water. After that, I'm going to show you, you see this meat, it's fillets beef fillets it is very soft so i'm gonna be cooking it directly okay many people prefer to boil their meat but i don't i have some onions make sure you have plenty plenty of onions because ugandan pilau is always colorful so it's the onions that give it the color then we have our fresh garlic just chopped into tiny tiny pieces and then what I did is that I blended these tomatoes so that when I cook, it is all like smooth, yeah? I like the smoothness. And then I have, our, of course, pilau masala. You can buy this in the supermarket anywhere in Kenya or in Uganda. So I'm going to show you the ingredients once again. Okay, now we are set. So I put my pan on the fire so that it can heat up before i add the rest of the things okay so guys if you've not subscribed at this point please hit the notification i mean hit the subscribe button okay so i go ahead and add oil guys pilau needs a little bit of more oil if you don't like oil Hmm, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you're going to need a little bit of more oil because the rice needs to be soft and it needs to be sliding off your tongue when you eat it. It doesn't need to stick on your tongue. Okay, at least that's how I like it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the oil until it is ready for me to add the rest of the ingredients. Stay tuned to see how this pilau is gonna turn out guys. I'm telling you it's gonna be amazing and as you watch this video go ahead share it with your friends who have always wondered why 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 do I insist on calling it Ugandan pilau you'll soon see guys. So once the oil is hot and ready I add the onions okay only the onions you can see i have purple onions and white onion so what you have to do is make sure that you're stirring these onions often okay so that it doesn't get ready on one side you have to stir that up to make sure they get incorporated into the onions So at this point, I'm going to be adding my fillets. You know why I'm adding it at this point? It's because it is raw, okay? It is fresh, so it needs to cook together with the onion. And let me tell you something, guys. There's something this process does to the pilau. When you chew on that meat, it's going to be flavored. It's going to have a lot of flavor, guys. So put in the meat at this point so that it can absorb all the onion flavor so that when you're eating the meat 
you don't get bored with the pilau okay sometimes i eat pilau and i'm like mm, no 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 i don't like the meat like, i'll just eat the rice and not eat the meat but this i'm telling you would like it then i like to salt my meat at this point because i don't i don't like meat that is not salted so if you decide to follow this recipe please make sure you salt the meat at this point Point. I know people always say, oh, the meat will not get ready. Okay, guys, I'm using very soft meat. Like, it's the softest part of the cow. So, once all this has been incorporated, you now go ahead and cover the pan. And you have to keep checking, keep checking so that your mixture does not get burnt. Just keep checking and make sure... The heat is at medium so that you get the perfect color okay as you saw in the picture at the beginning the color the secret to the color is the onions you have to cook them under medium heat and make sure you keep checking on that so that it doesn't get burnt because I assure you you don't want to test burnt pilau so you see I keep I keep stirring and making sure that anything that is sticking to the pan i try to get out you'll see on the right side of my pan it was trying to burn because my my heat wasn't even so i will keep turning the pan so that it doesn't get burnt on one side you see i really tried guys but yeah so make sure you cook until it is that brown but make sure it doesn't burn okay so at this point you go ahead you add the blended tomato you can reuse you can use the tomato that has just been chopped but i prefer to use the blended one because it cooks faster and i will not be getting the skins of the tomato in my pilau so you will now go ahead and add the pilau masala guys this gives the pilau that taste of pilau okay i'm using store-bought pilau masala but if you prefer you can just buy the ingredients and just grind your own pilau but i like it easy so i just went ahead and added two cups of that pilau masala oh my god look at the richness of this wow i'm assuring you guys this is gonna taste amazing so guys you remember our rice i now drained the water out because it's now ready to be added into this mixture but before i do that i add a little bit of salt you just saw it dropping in there just a little bit because the tomato tends to take out the salt from the meat make sure you're cooking under medium heat guys at this point because you don't want this to burn trust me so you make sure that you know i like adding the tomato most people cook their pilau without tomato but i like mine with a pi tomato because there's a sweetness it adds to the pilau try this out guys you will not regret it make sure you add the tomato just try it you never know so i had boiled water on the side i measured the water out since i had soaked the rice and I'm cooking one cup of rice. I cooked with one and a half cups of water. So you see me adding the rice. It is pre-soaked, guys. So it's a little bit faster to cook, okay? And when it cooks, trust me, it will be like, you'll see every grain of rice. So at this point, you have to stir and make sure everything is incorporated properly, okay? You see that and i'm now going to go ahead and cover so i'm going to cover that and let it boil look at that it's starting to get ready so keep turning keep turning so that you know everything gets cooked well and nice okay and then after you've stirred up that you cover again and reduce the heat to the lowest 
you see guys this is my pilau see the meat see the color of the meat don't you love the color of the meat look at that look at that so it is all cooked all nice i'm gonna let it cool a little bit i'm going to let it cool guys please hit the notification button for more videos so i'm going to serve a pilau with a kenyan kachumbari see that guys see how rich this looks oh my god i love my pilau any day anytime like this most times i complain about pilau because of the color but this is the perfect ugandan pilau if you've always wondered the secret to the color of ugandan pilau this is the secret and trust me it tastes amazing look 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 when i oh my god look at that look at that try this out guys you will not regret it you will enjoy this you will feel the taste of ugandan pilau guys wow this is amazing look at how beautiful that is Thank you for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification for more videos bye bye